Shalom, shalom, man. Today, man, we're getting after it, doing some demolition on this greenhouse right here, man. Let's talk about it. All praise, all praise to the Most High Yah, shalom, man. Today, I'm doing this demolition uh, on this greenhouse, and uh, the wood that's good and not dried out, I'm gonna uh, reuse. But um, yeah, this thing, man, it lasted a good season, and I threw it up together. You can go back uh, to the videos on my channel where I was putting this thing together, and uh, I got the wood for free, majority of the wood for free. So now I'm just uh, taking it down, and uh, I got a, a better layout coming. It's gonna be a little bit more structurally sound. And then, um, you know, I didn't know how to do any kind of frame walls or anything back when I built this. And you can see, let me show you, because this thing is not plumb, it's not square. You know, you look at this side right there, you can see them bows and whatnot. But um, got four windows that uh, I'm gonna salvage off of here. You can look at these, uh, the roof framing and, and that's where it gets rough um and it still stood but um i'm gonna reuse these rocks i'm gonna go with a uh due to the weeds out here being very aggressive i'm gonna go with a uh concrete base on this next project and uh i'm reusing all these screws man so since i've been on the homestead man i buy screws by this size container by the you know uh comes in a thousand and more and uh i reuse them man it's a good screw so i reuse them some of this wood you can see like uh it's not gonna survive the long haul so i'll use i'll probably use this wood for uh uh doing concrete framing because it's it's old and weathered and then the wood that's good i'll put it to good use and still use it and then um something i'm gonna do uh this one i used a basic clear waterproofer and that did not stand the test of time so on this next upcoming greenhouse, uh, I'm gonna use a membrane. I'm gonna use like a water membrane, which you use uh, if you're doing like tile or in the bathroom or uh, a shower pan. And I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna get after it with that and uh, see how that does. And I'm actually gonna do uh, a better roofing job since I know how to, uh, you know, uh, build basic trusses. So just constantly, uh, and then I wanna get it uh, away from the driveway because we got our dog boarding and daycare business over there i want to put it to the side put it in the back where it's out of sight and out of mind but yeah there you have it man just going through here um and i'm gonna get all this gravel and i'm gonna use it in the center of the uh the concrete pad to you know make my good uh firm base before i start pouring concrete and uh yeah man that's what we're doing I'm gonna get after and i used a lot of I used a, a lot of awkward cuts of wood. Didn't really get too precise on this thing. It was about getting it up. And uh, now I'm not, you know, in a rush to do it. I've got time. And uh, this same, like this same thing right here, I'm gonna take these down and I will put them, uh, put them in my backyard. My, my new, new greenhouse is gonna go back over there where I got a water spigot. I got a water spigot right there and then my goats and everything they won't be able to mess with it it's enclosed in area the only thing that i might have to worry about is putting some uh some rabbit repellent down i'm gonna take one of these water tanks and make it dedicated to where when i uh when i treat my water with nutrients it'll automatically feed it so i don't have to give the plants so we're gonna do that i'm gonna put some more uh raised beds over there and we'll be good to go man gotta get all this old plastic you see this plastic right here this was home depot six mil plastic and it only lasted for uh it only lasted for about uh, a whole season before it starts cracking and getting brittle uh if you're gonna use that plastic i recommend doing a double layer a double layer or just uh pretty much order your greenhouse plastic i'm still debating on where if i want to do greenhouse plastic or do i want to do the uh corrugated um like plastic they look like roofing panels I, if i want to do those so i'm still debating on that but um yeah man stay tuned so just showing you guys this this is what i'm working on today so there you have it man greenhouse base greenhouse framing is all taken down you see what's the original uh what i originally started with these 12 inch boards 
And um, one thing about being on a homestead, man, you just don't, you know, tear stuff down and then get rid of it and take it to the dump. So, you know, if you can see over there, I got a board like that over there, it's kind of warped, but I can chop that up and use it in different projects if I hold on to it. Uh, some of this board right here is still good. And uh, what I've done is I've taken all my boards and uh, this pile right here is really weathered. So it's gonna be used for like scrap projects and stuff like that where I need to, uh, use something to hold up some of these warped fence pickets. Um, and then I got some four by fours over here that are in pretty good condition. You see, I got some 10 inch boards, eight inch boards over there still good. And then I got these 12 foot uh, two by fours in good condition. So these good condition ones, what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, I'm gonna put a, uh, a waterproof and liquid membrane over them uh, and use what I can in these. And then some of the shorter ones, Man, I'll use them for concrete form, stuff like that. I'm gonna get some use to them. Uh, these warp fence pickets, I got some fencing for like my little wood area over there. I wanna make a little, uh, a, uh, a facade or a fascia to block that so people can't see it. And I gotta take all this stuff to the dump. But um, when it comes to wood on a homestead, even these little pieces, I'm collecting these because you, don't, you never know when all you need is about a, a, a 12 to 16 inch piece of wood and I can, hey, I can cut that out of there. You never know if I'm doing uh, wall frame and I'm doing 16 inches on center. You never know, those little pieces come in handy. And worst case scenario, I'll show you. Like uh, this right here is my, uh, my goat hanging stand right here. And I use just scrap wood that I had. You see, I got some four by four on the back, two by four, and then uh, put that together just off of that. So just using what we have and even this base right here, definitely gonna reuse this. And now that you can see it, you see that this thing's got a slope to it if I straighten the camera back out. So on the new one, like I said, uh, I'm gonna be taking all this this uh, gravel out. Gotta get in here and clean up some more, get all this gravel out. And this will be, the gravel will be the base up under the concrete. And uh, that way you can save on concrete and I can reuse some of this. And if you look in here, this is, when you use weed barrier and it says it's got a five year life on it, man, that stuff is, you'd be, you be lucky if that stuff lasts a year and a half. And you can see how this one just slowly uh, dis, uh, disintegrated and then the weeds start coming through. Same thing on the outside. You know, weeds will get through this little stuff and that's the reason I'm going with concrete because you see how the weeds just slowly start to take over. And um, when you have this thing full of uh plants and, and vegetables that you're growing the last thing you want to be doing is picking weeds in your greenhouse so we're tearing this down i'm even going to move the table uh probably will uh get rid of this dirt because it's weed infested and i don't want to carry it over into uh my plants or i'll probably dig down try to pull as much weed try to salvage that soil but probably going to move the um raised beds get rid of these and put them over by my greenhouse location and that way we can be, be set up and uh, very efficient in our setup because doing this, uh, it was right close to the water hose, but um, wasn't efficient as I wanted and uh, definitely wasn't as durable as I wanted. So there you have, man, days of work, got the windows that we salvaged right there and we're gonna get after it. You know, uh, I talked about it in one of my videos. You know, this was a table that uh, had started the, it's a big piece of marble, but the legs and stuff, the, the pretty much where you put the, uh, the screws to hold the legs in, all of that stuff started to blow out. But what you have here is a good uh, 200 pound piece of like marble um, pieced together stone. And uh, yeah, definitely not gonna get rid of it. So when we're doing chicken butchering and stuff, that's the table we use, sitting up on some cinder blocks. So just being resourceful, cause uh, yeah, man, got a lot of projects and you want to, um, you know, if I was to just leave this here and then go buy more rocks, you know, this is probably a good $200 worth of rocks in here. So yeah, we're going to reuse everything, reuse everything, um, get these boards off of here once I get the rocks out and, uh, we'll wheelbarrow those over to the new location once I have it digged out and, uh, framed for concrete. Concrete will be here, uh, sometime this week and we'll be good to go, man. All praise to the most high.